All right, so here's the red mix that I made earlier. Um, I just went ahead and um, put in a Ziploc bag, put a, some 75-25 uh, alcohol mix. That's just so that way it helps it evaporate a little bit better. Um, you don't want to get it too wet because then it's going to start to stick to the tools and then also you don't want it to be too wet when it's when it comes out because it'll probably take forever to dry but besides that um, you just want to make it damp enough to where it'll actually hold together but not um, super wet like when you're granulating it's not the same and then what I do is I just kind of fill the plate up to the top and then I'm gonna take the the press former thing and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press it down a little bit and then that's gonna give me the gap I need for my primer all right Try to get it as good as I can I'll take this guy here press it in and it's all empty again uh, the star mix is already pressed down in there and then I'll take my primer a couple sprays in it because this also has dextrin in it and then I'll go ahead and uh, just kind of mix that up I don't want to make a mess because I should have used a baggie for this but just to make it little damp is all. Like I said, you don't have to make this like if you're going to granulate. And it's good to use a spray bottle too, that way you don't put too much because you can always put more, you just can't remove. So that's the bad part about moisture with this mix. Uh, if you do put a little too much, it's not a big deal, you just got to let it dry. But hopefully I put enough moisture in it because sometimes if you don't put enough moisture, what will happen is uh, when you try to press it, It'll just crumble, and that's not what you want, so. All right, so that should be decent. Just kind of pour it on here to fill it. Um, you don't need to fill it all the way up to the top. Uh, you can, but uh, it doesn't need to. So pretty much what I'm making here is almost like a match head. Um, you're going to have your your star underneath and then up top is going to be the primer so that's just it's kind of like a match head and then when the shell goes off or the rocket or whatever um, it should uh, ignite it and I don't have to roll anything so this method is a lot nicer because it's like an all-in-one thing all right should be enough there I'll go ahead and put this guy back on or actually I'll take this guy off first put this guy on and then I don't really need these I know that's to help uh, keep the measurement of 3 8 or whatever but I don't need it and then here I have my press set to 2000 so I'm just gonna go ahead and press that Then what I'll do is I'll flip it over and right there you see a very nice smooth star. That's all the red mix. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my GoPro in the way. I'm trying not to do a lot of movements, but um, you just kind of scrape off the little edge right there. I have a putty knife, but I just didn't bring it out. So then what I do is I take my extractor. All these are 3D printed parts, by the way. Um, there's nothing special about these. Um, I just didn't want to have to pay extra just to get these, but I'll go ahead and see if it'll show you the extraction. And that's it. And put this guy up. And then over here, you just dump out your stars. And if everything works out the way it's supposed to, I should have some nice stars with uh, a red or I'm sorry a black top and there it is so you can see that it is it is a nice red star with a little black head on top they're all the same they're all uniform so it looks nice um, 
These, because I didn't put too much water in them, they're pretty firm, um, but they will break if you, you know, decide that you want to try to crush one. But um, I made 50 grams. That should give me, I want to say about 32 stars. Um, but these are it right here. Uh, over here, I have my tiger tails and my green stars. These, I don't have any primer because I didn't remember to do the, the little trick that I did now. Um, some of these stars I have in here are tiger tails, but there's a little red stripe that turns it red. Um, but this time, I decided I'm just going to go ahead and make my own uh, red star with a black powder tip. So I'll be doing testing on those so you guys can see if it works or how well it works rather. Anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is going to be my red star mix. Don't worry about that label. I need to take it off. I made about 50 grams because I didn't want to waste it just in case it doesn't work. This is the flare mix, or I'm sorry, the star mix. It's essentially my green mix, except for I, I used uh, strontium nitrate instead of the barium nitrate. So I'm going to see if it works just by swapping out the main metal and then we'll see if it works, or the main salt, rather. All right, that worked very good. So, pretty much what that's doing is I'm gonna be able to press these into red stars. Uh, I know in my other videos, all I've ever made was green stars because I wasn't sure if I can use dextrin with the other red star mix that I have. But as you saw there, it. it burn really nice red and this has dextrin in it so I'll just throw a little bit of water in there uh, activate the dextrin and then I'll press some stars and then I'm gonna also press a little bit of uh, primer on top so that way I don't have to soak the stars or roll them in anything it'll just have a little primer edge kind of like a match and um, I'll post a video of that as well when I get to it um, this was just to show you real quick what that red looks like